dear friends and all the viewers welcome to this video this is mainly focuses on our education system by keeping in view the dreadful pandemic covid-19 as we are aware that our schools are in lockdown due to this disease now we shall think about measures to face this problem and think of innovative measures to contain the impact of this pandemic on the growth of our children we should ensure learning never stops we should also help our students to pursue their education with minimum loss now schools are closed students are at home in almost entire world the situation is the same hence it is high time on the part of every one of us to think of alternative measures to help our students hence let's think of what is the purpose of schools can we replace the school by taking care of alternative measures a school is an educational institution designed to provide requisite abilities designed by the society the students are molded by keeping in view the needs of the society in brief students should attain socially useful and desirable abilities and competencies in the school the main purpose of the school is to help requisite competencies that are required in the society unfortunately you are all aware that the schools are closed due to this dreadful disease hence in this time we should help our students to overcome this problem and help them to engage in their learning here one important thing to pay in our mind is to develop digital skills in our students help them through internet let's understand what's my digital skill it's very simple our students they know how to use android phone for various purposes this is a sort of digital skill that's all just in uh, in detail if you think digital skill involve accessing digital sources and uh, retrieving requisite information and make use of it for constructing our own knowledge now we call this m learning this is a simple way of learning is m learning nowadays the replace of our school system is m learning it's very simple how it is let's understand m learning means mobile learning all we need or all uh, the, that the student needs is one android phone with internet access hence nowadays dear uh, friends all our parents or students access these android phones with internet 70% of our parents they possess this let's make best use of it and make the benefit of it and uh, students can access internet and access lot of materials uh, that is there in the internet they they are material is in the form of videos it may be in the form of word it may be in the form of images the role of the teacher is to guide the student to access uh, requisite information there and we help our students to retrieve that information the information is also according to their needs interests and this will be more effective more convenient more friendly to our students this helps our st students to customize their learning they learn what they need they learn according to their ability they learn according to their interest they learn according to their happiness and enjoyment and uh, it will be very easy on the part of uh, the students to attain wonderful concepts and uh, here uh one other thing we should every one of us should bear in mind that learning outcomes are there in the system now they are designed by ncert they are very very effective yes friends learning outcomes are class specific 
and uh, subject specific. Hence, this should be common in entire uh, country. And uh, these learning outcomes will help us to plan digital classes and online teaching to our students. Let's understand what's by a learning outcome. Learning outcome, uh, learning outcomes are statements that describe the knowledge or skills that, that the student should acquire by the end of a particular assignment, class, course, or program and help students understand why that knowledge and those skills will be useful to them. Hence, these learning outcomes are there. They are prescribed with NCRT and here along with these learning outcomes, it is also clearly explained the procedures or the content that is to be imparted to our students, the topics that are to be imparted to our students to attain uh, the, those learning outcomes. For example, EBS class 3, there are learning outcomes are there and uh, the topics are syllabus or the pedagogic process that are to be taken care of by the teacher is also clearly mentioned. These two help us uh, to provide uh, wonderful resources to our students. Hence, uh, we have learning outcomes that are prescribed by NCRT uh, and uh, it's also clearly explained the pedagogic process and this help our students uh, to learn well. And also here, um, here, hence in this context, what is the role of the teacher? The teacher role is very simple. The teacher should generate wonderful resources. We call it as open educational resources, online resources. Many resources should be generated by the teacher. Every teacher should generate resources. And it may be, they may work in different schools. They may work in different districts. They may, be, they may be work in different states. But they should produce, generate videos, words or images related uh, to these learning outcomes. They should be, as per the learning outcomes and uh, the pedagogic uh, that guidelines that are prescribed by NCRT. Hence, uh, because of this uh, common uh, way of guidance that is given by our NCRT, we shall have common way of uh, material that is available to our students in entire country. And this will be very helpful. Then what is the role of students? Already we discussed that every student is provided with uh, the Android phone with internet. That is enough. Most of the parents, 70% of our parents, they possess and we encourage remind, uh, remaining people to acquire uh, these phones or otherwise we may think of other means uh, to support them. Hence, uh, uh, what is the role of students? Students can get a lot of such materials. They should uh, try themselves to retrieve information by accessing this internet. They can access this internet and they choose the material that are helpful to them according to their interest, according to their enjoyment, according to their level and they can choose and they can learn from them. This helps the students feel comfortable and enjoy their learn. What about examinations? And uh, already there are many reforms in our examinations. Examination should be stress-free. Examination should be joyful. This online way of examination system uh, will help our students to enjoy their learning and enjoy their uh, undergoing examinations also. And uh, they can overcome their stress and they can come to one conclusion that these examinations are to help me to know my strengths and weaknesses. And based on my strengths and weaknesses, I may plan and I may choose my further uh, the, uh, way of uh, learning things through internet, uh, through digital resources. Hence, uh, that uh, uh, these examinations are also very helpful to our students when we conduct through online. Uh, they never create tension on the parents also. And also, government also should uh, take uh, uh, care uh, to invite students uh, to attend public examinations. These uh, maybe examinations uh, may be conducted 
uh, uh, several times to help our students to make them uh, uh, to attend the examinations in easy in an easy way and also uh, student uh, government can conduct public examinations and give uh, great certificates and uh, these may be uh, sort of eligibility tests and uh, which measure the efficiency of students in specific fields based on uh, the result of uh, these examinations the student can choose his uh, way of further learning and uh, finally our beloved chief minister also clearly stated that uh, this dreadful disease uh, this uh, impact this covid 19 is uh, a sort of uh, unconventional crisis in our society in a, uh, in our system hence unconventional crisis requires unconventional tools to be used let us take new unconventional measures in our education system also to provide hope to the parents and students i wish you very good luck thank you very much